scientist and uh, we're sort of encumbered by language and other issues. So I'm not in a position to speak on field realities in Pakistan. Uh, theoretically, yes. But I will speak to Kashmir. Um, I think that in, in Kashmiri society, from what I have found, uh, there's a tremendous sense of uh, um, uh, according of uh, um, equity and equality in relation to women. Women are powerful in Kashmir. Women take to the streets as much as men do. Women are fierce. It is actually women. Often disproportionately, it is men that have been targeted in Kashmir that have been disappeared or killed in extrajudicial executions or those that are buried in the unknown and mass graves. It is women that become heads of households that then have to also not only care for their families but seek justice. And is it at the same time the larger patriarchal context of South Asia, uh, does it apply to uh, Kashmir? It applies to every part of uh, South Asia, patriarchal as well as heteronormative. But within that, is that what you were asking? I was a little confused. Or were you asking about sexual violence? It's more about the, the gender rights of, the, of women in, in Kashmir. Oh, OK. So then to say that uh, there, there have been incalculable gendered and sexualized violences that have been perpetrated on women. I know young women who did not want to go to school. They love learning. They don't want to go to school because at the entrance of the school, there's a checkpoint, there's a soldier. They may be frisked, and they get exhausted by that because it's violent. It's abusive. Uh, the, the ways in which the, res the, the res relation between the Indian forces or the relation of the Indian forces to Kashmiri women is extremely dangerous. There's a sense that the body of the woman is where one can sort of, it becomes the battlefield. Mm -hmm. And especially the Hinduization also of the forces that we've been witnessing over the past, I would say, 15 years since Ayodhya, the Hinduization of the forces. So there's an added element to it. I think in India, it, Islamophobia today has quite escalated. Uh, women, it's very, very difficult for them to perform daily tasks. There has been no studies undertaken on rapes, for example. Where the rapes that we have witnessed for in Konan Pushpura from 1991, justice is still pending. Uh, we saw a terrifying case of a rape of and murder of an eight-year-old girl last year. I will stop. I'm way over. <laughs> no, I appreciate it, and I, I believe you have something to contribute. Yes, to. yes. I'm actually dying to say something. So, uh, so we recently, me and uh, Atharzia, another Kashmiri, we compiled the.